She is a woman who is here to take control. The following contest is a tag team tables match. Introducing first, representing Damage Control from San Jose, California, Bailey. Now Bailey claims that she's the one that built the women's division. It's a claim Bailey has every right to make. She's the longest reigning SmackDown Women's Champion in history at 379 days. Listen, Bailey couldn't be more aggressive. She couldn't be more vicious. And she claims she's a role model for all the women in WWE. I can't believe Bailey has gone so far as to shave the name of her rival in the back of her head. Who does that? Well, those of us that have hair to work with Saxton generally try to do mind games like that. Maybe we can get you a dry erase board for your head. Here comes Trouble, a superstar who is always ready for a fight. And she won't let anything stand in her way. Hey. Representing Damage Control from Auckland, New Zealand, one half of the Women's Tag Team Champions, Dakota Kai. A world-traveled competitor has taken her game to the next level since joining Damage Control. Well, some would say Kai's got a questionable attitude, but besides that, she's proven she will do anything to win. Well, now she has even more help in the form of Damage Control. And representing the Grapplers from Paris, France, Lady Buck. The moment this match was announced, the WWE Universe has expected a classic. I think it is destined to deliver. One of the most anticipated matches we've had in quite some time. And this woman is the reason why. In Minnesota, Carol. You know, this person takes some pride in their work, but who could blame them? Few are as gifted in the ring as this performer. Wow, you are laying it on thick, Saxton. Don't worry, I'm sure they'll hear you when they watch this match 10 times before bed tonight. She loves the reaction she receives from the WWE Universe, and I think she's going to take that energy into the match, too. We all know what the objective is, is to send your opponent to the table, but you need to do some work before that, right, Corey? No, that's right. you got to punish your opponent first, soften them up so you can finish them with a four. We can't forget that the table doesn't need to actually be set up on its legs either, guys. Yeah, it's true, you can lean it against the ropes or set it on its side. As long as your opponent goes through it, you get the win. Able to get the advantage here. Nasty kick. Survey the damage 
explore possible options and execute accordingly. You have to have the fight right to your opponent. To put yourself in a position to do that, being tentative can cost you big time. You must get the table set it up and make your move all in seconds. Re-entering the ring now. She's getting herself in the zone, but she shouldn't hesitate much longer.